This day, we want to discuss another aspect of ANOVA, that is Latin Square Design. This video will be in two parts, okay? So, after this part that is introduction of it, you will see the next part that will be calculation on it. In this Latin Square Design, it is one of the statistical techniques we use to analyze data. It has a model. The model of it is written as the model is written as y i j k equals to. So it's made up of overall mean plus r i plus c j plus C K plus random error. So we had this is called overall mean. So this is the model. Then Y I J K simply mean observation of get treatment observation of care treatment in i throw in i throw and jet color then roi simply mean effect of effect of i row Effect of I throw. Then C J means effect of jet column. Then T K means effect of cat treatment. Okay, so this is the model of Latin square design. Then this means random error. Okay? Now it has three assumptions like other ANOVA we have. The three assumptions are normality, independence, and constant variance. Okay. Then, in Latin square design, the arrangement of any given Latin square design is called the order or dimension. As you know in matrix, how do we write order or dimension of any arrangement or Latin square design? Example of the order we have is 3 by 3, 4 by 4, 5 by 5. Once you just write it this way, don't multiply it out. Okay? Then, that is about order of uh, Latin square design. So, from the model we have in Latin square design, it means that it has overall mean, it has effect of a eye treatment, um, effect of eye throw, so it made up of row, column, treatment, random error, and overall mean. That is what this simply mean. So, what do we mean by 3 by 3? We say 3 by 3, 4 by 4, 5 by 5, they are called order or dimension of any given Latin square design. So they are called the arrangement of a given Latin square design. So we go to the Latin square table. On that Latin square table, it's made up of SV, degree of freedom. SV means source of variation, degree of freedom, sum of squares, mean of squares, and F ratio. Okay? 
Now, other source of, source of variation, the first thing you will have there is uh, row, next one column, next one treatment, next one error, and next one total. So we'll package it in a table. Okay. Now, what do we mean by degree of freedom? What is the degree of freedom of a Latin square design? The degree of freedom of it is M minus 1. Degree of freedom of the next one, M minus 1. Then for the treatment, also M minus 1. So the treatment, M minus Then the error will be M minus 1 bracket m minus 2, then the total will be m squared minus 1. Once you sort out this, add all this up, it will give you m squared minus 1. Then that is about degree of freedom. Then what about sum of squares? S of, SS means sum of squares. So what we have on it is sum of square row, because we are talking about row, sum of square column, because we are talking about column, sum of square treatment, sum of square error, and sum of square total. Oh, that is it. So, what of MS? MS means SS row all over SS row all over M minus 1. SS column all over M minus 1, SS treatment all over M minus 1, then SS error all over M minus 1, M minus 2. So that is for me mean of squares of this. Then F ratio simply means the L we are seeing here is gotten from the scientists who make impact in introducing this topic by name Fishner. So we now say F ratio. F ratio means we have MS row. This is MS row divided by divided by MS error. Then the next one, MS column divided by MS error. Next one, MS treatment divided by MS error. So, from these three we have here, it means that we will have three conclusions on this. This treatment is called or can be called drug. You can get this treatment after you must have done randomization. For you to get this treatment, as you said, you must do, you must do randomization of your data. From there, you cannot get your treatment. That's how to randomize 4x4 four four Latin square design. Given 4x4 four four Latin square design, this is how you randomize it. 4x4 four four Latin square design, see how you randomize it. A, B, C, D, then A, B, C, D, then A, B, C, D, then A, B, C, D. Then you now write D, D, A, B, C, D. Now write D, D, A, A. That is A, C, D, B. A, C, D, B. So that is how you can randomize it when you are having 4 by 4.
four by four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. So five by four will be giving you sixteen outcomes. After you must have randomized, that is what will help you to know what your treatment is all about. Then we go into derivation of formula. We say first is SS total equals to summation of y i j k squared minus y squared all over m squared. Then SS rule equal to summation of y y i squared. SS rule is summation of y i squared minus y squared all over m squared so this is over m then ss room is equal to summation of y j squared all over m minus y squared all over m squared then ss treatment equal to summation of y k squared all over m minus y squared over m squared. That tells us that your SS error will now be SS total minus SS row minus SS column minus SS treatment. Okay? So once you do the subtraction very correctly, you get your SS error. So, since we said that this, from here we will be having three conclusions. This your F ratio you have here is called F calculated. Then, for you to do your test statistics, because next thing is to do your test statistics to analyze your result or to make conclusion on your result, then your test statistics is equal to F calculated, you ask are you greater than F tab for the first result. The first result MS row divided by MS error will be giving you F calculated 1, F calculated 1, then F tab, how do you get your F tab? F tab here will be F alpha. They will give you your test of, they will give you your level of significance. Then what is this? M minus 1. And what is the error of it? M minus 1, M minus 2. So this will be your numerator and this will be your denominator. You use your F table, your F table is in your four figure table. You use your F table and get it out. Check numerator against denominator under alpha given to you or level of significance given to you. When we go into question solving, you will understand what we mean by this. Then the next one you will have is F calculated for the second one. Are you greater than F star? Now, what will be the F tab? F alpha, M minus 1, bracket M minus 1, M minus 2. You are testing it against the error you have. Then the next one is F calculated, the third one. You ask, are you greater than F tab? Now, F F tab is F alpha M minus 1 bracket M minus 1 M minus 2. Then what you now do is that if F calculated is greater than this, you tell them that yes, I will reject no hypothesis. This is a sample of no hypothesis. Reject non hypothesis, then accept alternative hypothesis. Then for this one, you also said reject non hypothesis. If this is greater than this, if the calculated value is greater than F table, then you now say reject non hypothesis. 
that meaning of rejecting non hypothesis simply means accept the alternative hypothesis. Then this one also means reject non hypothesis is true. If this is true, if this is greater than this, reject non hypothesis and accept alternative hypothesis. Then we want to see how to solve questions on this in the next video.